So good afternoon all. So the other day I was talking to my brother about Plopsy. He's a graduate in English literature and it was personally very satisfying to see his face when I used the words decentralization, distributed ledger, SHA 256 algorithm and cryptographic proof in a single sentence. He was obviously very mad at me and confused. So he took out his phone and googled the word Blockchain. After a while, he came back to me and with a very serious face, he asked me, is it true that I can mine Blockchain with my phone? Can I get rich just like that? So I was relieved. He was even more confused. So I can't really blame my brother for that. Almost all the literature that has ever said or written about Blockchain for a few years have been mostly just empty hype. These sensationalized fantasies about technological utopia where we don't need currencies or constitution or even government. So I am here to tell you some truth about blockchain. Blockchain is nothing but a shared database of secure transactions that has that is available for all the participating members. So about blockchain, we might think that blockchain is this new technology that is going to completely disrupt how economy, economics and trade is going to happen in the coming decades. But in fact, blockchain is just another extension to this age-old story of trade. Thousands of years ago in the agrarian society, trade happened between peer to peer, between two individuals, just like barter system. There were no uncertainty between them and they all knew the value of the commodity they were exchanging. So it was easy. But when trade grew and distance between these participating entities grew, the uncertainty between them increased. So we had to introduce middlemen and institutions like governments or banks or corporations in order to reduce the uncertainty between them. And blockchain is just natural extension to this process that has until happened until now. When blockchain is introduced into the economics, the need for middlemen and trust building entities like governments or banks are being eliminated. So it is entirely possible to create economy and trade without the, without the need for trust between the participating entities. Because in blockchain, trust is introduced by mathematics, by the use of cryptographic principles where every transaction and every user is being signed cryptographically and which takes a lot of work to undo. So about blockchain, blockchain was invented by invented 10 years ago, in around 2008, when the world came to know about Bitcoin. Bitcoin was invented by an entity known as Satoshi Nakamoto. I am calling him an entity because nobody knew who he is. It is common consensus that Satoshi Nakamoto is the name of an organization or a group of people who want to do transactions anonymously over the dark web. And after a few years, we got the Ethereum blockchain. The Ethereum blockchain helped us create decentralized application over the blockchain. So that's how we are now creating decentralized insurance, trade, and currencies, other currencies, stockizing, crowdfunding. All these decentralized applications are happening because we have the Ethereum blockchain. And just like Ethereum blockchain, we have many other blockchains like the Hyperledger Foundation or the IOTA Foundation. And we have to wait a few more years before these organizations experiment themselves over the blockchain, see how these experiments are going to flourish or even possibly fail. It is not going to happen in a day when the entire economy is running on blockchain. It is going to take a few years and it will only happen gradually where governments and corporations are going to partially implement blockchain in their infrastructure. So what does, this, what does this mean for us? It means that we as a public and the next generation to the world have to be aware of the impl uh, implications of this technology. Because already now the government is trying to, governments all over the world including India are trying to regulate blockchain unsuccessfully. Uh, but it is, it has to be understood what this technology will do for the coming decades. So it is important to educate our young generation and ourselves about the use of blockchain and how it is going to change our world. Thank you.